All right, in this video, I just want to go over uh, how to find dry wood termites. And there's a million different ways in a million different situations. So this is just one of them. So there was a cabinet on this wall. And here um, there are termite droppings. They're falling right in there. I, don't, I guess you can see them. There, there they are right there. That's termite, dry wood termite droppings. And, uh, and so the droppings are landing there and nothing moves the droppings but gravity and ricochet okay so what, what i end up doing is, is like checking this wall and looking for any kick out holes um checking up there in the, the wood there and i just need to check like where would they come from if they were landing here right and so the customer was seeing them on the countertop here and i couldn't find anything in the cabinet so uh, so to fumigate in the house, because this is just one isolated problem without swarmers, um, we had him pull the cabinet off the wall. And uh, it really took me a long time to find the termites, uh, I'm ashamed to say, but, but they're in this, this corner of the cabinet right there, which would coincide, if that cabinet was hanging on that wall, would coincide with those droppings being right there. Um, and this cabinet was probably maybe three inches off that wall um, so there they are and I, I tore that open so I just want to tell you how I found it I mean where the droppings were was big indication of where I should start looking you know you just got to be a little detective and so when I scratch when I tap this wood I want you to listen to the difference when I find the termites oh that went through so you know that's termites but, well that went through you saw that Hear the difference? Seems simple enough, right? Um, also, like you can, I do something I call the scratch test, where like this is the back of a cabinet and the homeowner's never gonna see it. So I'll do this. In the areas where I'm pretty sure there's termites, but I can't find them. You hear that? That let me know that that right there is hollow and that I have a termite colony right in there. And I can then take my treatment and put it right on top of the colony. People all the time say, well, can't you just spray the back of the cabinet or something? And I could spray all of this. I can soak it down. And if it don't soak in right there, it don't work. And most sprays, like they don't go very far in the wood. And then if, if you got all this coating on it, it don't go in the wood at all. So treating dry wood termites and doing it successfully uh, isn't a matter of just whipping out the spray. I mean, you've got to be a detective and uh, apparently you've got to shake a phone because man, that is an unsteady video. All right. Thanks for watching.